from Gottlieb Pinball. Busters Incorporated. Yes, that's the official title. Bone Busters Incorporated. Only 2,000 of these were made. But this one is very special. This one is very special. This is for a customer who wanted us to customize it a bit. We got rid of the pink. Go on. There is a little bit here and there left. But look at this new paint job. All customized by Stephen. And I think it looks just terrific. As a matter of fact, it's got one last coat of clear coat to go on it to finish up this job. Boy, isn't it nice? We have done some stuff with Bone Busters that no one else has done. Notice the mirror sides. Oh, yes, that reflects the colors. And the colors are brilliant. Now, our customer likes 44s, the regular light bulbs. But he did say I could put in some LEDs where I saw fit, and I did. I put some, actually I didn't, didn't, Tony did this. Tony put some LEDs under the field in certain places and points. We're using all regular uh, flash lamps except a couple bright ones right here in the back and also in the corner, green and blue. You can see them flash from time to time, but can you see what else we did? We have added uh, LED lighting on these that spot hole and the star rollover. We've also lit up these two corners, these kickers. They were never lit before. And Tony thought blue looked best there. And then of course we have um, lights under here where it normally are. But these are our new added lights. We also have some brighter bulbs underneath the green to give you that beautiful effect. And most important, you see the skull? That was never lit before. I thought, wouldn't it be a really clever idea to put in bendies? Uh, that's patented now, just so you know. Bendies up here that are facing the skull. Uh, so we thought that was going to really make a nice highlight. When the GI flashes the lights, the skull goes on and off. Now. He now lights up red. See how, how the skull turns off? And then he'll turn back on. Sharp, huh? So, all right, let's give it a start here. First shot's a skill shot. See that shot there? You want to shoot your ball up. Have that flipped over so you can roll through here. If you do, it will lock your ball there. And kick it out. Now, periodically, while you play the game, the skull on the top will talk to you. I'm hoping he's going to talk to you when Frank has the camera there. Because I want you to see how neat it is when he lights up super red. Not yet. There's nothing specific that triggers him. a nice effect though with the GI because originally there was no lights up there at all. So we thought our customer would really like that effect. Also, we thought it'd be nice if we lit the hole. See the hole over here is lit too. Now we have new lights inside the, the chair. You see there. I, think, I think we need to lock some holes. Let's light a random lock. Now when it goes in that hole, you have an opportunity. Well, that was actually the hole. Oh, he just talked. We just missed him. <laughs> I don't think we're going to catch him. Quick play. Quick play with him. No, no, he's you random. I thought it was a multiple. Okay, now we got multiple. Another game is so unpopular in France. That Gottlieb made 200 conversion kits. The Amazon Hunt 3. People converted. They're busted for that. It was so sad. Oh, there he goes. Pretty sharp, huh, sir? Ah, look. There's the 
skill shot. Now obviously it's gonna go a lot faster than that. Nope, nope, nope. Yeah, it's, it, we're not level, we're not level. Shut up at Moon Street. I'm in Moon Street, there's two locks. Now the third lock is at the top. See, if I go up this hole here, I'll light the random lock. I'm not gonna shoot. Okay, here's the fourth ball. Now, of course, when you roll over that, it kicks out your other ball. And yes, it's gonna roll a lot faster when you're in when you're in multi ball play. Let's go up one more, and we'll get multi ball again. <laughs> I think we have to jump the bridge. Let's jump the bridge for multi-ball release. There we go. You guys ready? All set. Yeah, I'm ready. Me too. And obviously you see the flash lamps blink in the appropriate places. It's always lousy when you play a game like this and nobody has changed the flash lamp bulbs. Craig, you gotta remind me to put the uh, plywood underneath this when we test these. Write that down. <laughs> oh, you're not cooking. Let me show you in the back here. I'll write that down. Look, we've got an orange team over here. God, doesn't this look terrific? You did not paint the inside of the game. You see, we have LEDs in the back. But a regular 89 to light the field. Our logic board, we're now using the little tiny cell. The customer can change when he wants to. Thank you, Kurt. Thank you very much. That sounded like me in the shower. What? Power supply has been rebuilt. We put a new pot on here. We have uh, reheated these connectors. That's their standard soundboard with their uh, their extra speech up here. And then, uh, of course, they, they needed more. So this was the first game where they had two soundboards and they had so much programming in this baby. Now, look, you notice that? You've seen these before in the haunted house and the black hole, but this is different. These transistors are real heavy duty because these run the flash lamps. You cannot be moving these around. You can't be moving these around. Gold wings. Okay, Gold wings has that in their head. And there's another important uh, board I'm going to show you inside. Here. Can you unlock that? And then we're going to go. Every, 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 tonight's tomato rice soup at the diner. What time, time is it now? Yes. You're going. You yeah. better be going. Let's don't let the walls fall out. I got you can see underneath here First that day. we've put bendies under here. That's a trademark. Um, throughout the field to light underneath where they never were before. So I think that was a really nice uh, idea. Now look down here. See, one's a pop bumper board, but the other one it looks like a pop bumper board, but it's snot. It's not. So I had this. Uh, <laughs> okay, it's not. Anyway, that is the kicker for up here. If you take these boards out to reheat them, do not mix them up because you are going to be very unhappy. That's right. Things are not going to work. And there's one more thing. This drove us nuts years ago on a Bone Busters. You can plug these plugs in wrong. It doesn't blow anything up, but things won't work. Notice that there's, there's parts that are not used in it. They do not use this, all the parts on the board. So Gottlieb left these parts uh, blank because they didn't use them. But this plug has only three wires in it. So if you plug this plug in down here, like so, and you plug this plug in up here, like so, then three things are not going to work because there's nothing in there. There's no, see, these are diodes. Doesn't hurt anything, but you're gonna be knocking your brains out saying, why isn't it working? So that's a pretty good imitation. Huh? Why isn't it working? <laughs> okay, I'm done lecturing. Reheat these, you gotta reheat these. See, now this is a standard flasher bulb. And this bulb here runs, let me unplug it and I'll show you. 
it runs these center lights. That's all it does. Just these four lights in the center. Like does nothing at all. So they're very small. But Scott, Scott, it was always nice. Scottlieb had all these little extra things for the um, that that operate the game. As long as everything has got nice cold solder joints and it work great. Right. I know. I it's, please, Kurt. Yep. Journal. In the journal. I'm trying to help. And for every feature they add, they add ten more miles. Oh, you did it! There goes the ball. Let me lift the play field. I'm taking the balls uh. off. <laughs> Everybody likes that when I do that. What a spectacular, beautiful piece of equipment. We did that over. It's awesome. It looks good. It's my idea. Isn't the color coordination terrific? Mm -hmm. Pretty cool. And, uh, Jay and Tony, Tony, Tony picked the colors out. That. Tony picked the colors out. And then we put the red lights in it. It's Boy, flashing show. what a be beautiful light show. What a light show. terrific, cool. wonderful game. There's only 2,000 out there. Baby, if they sold 200 kits, that means there's only 1,800 of these out here. I, uh, I promise them we, we're going to go. It's time to go, but Bone Busters, special edition. Another TNT Amusements exclusive release. Good night. More coming soon. Heheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheh